Hi guys, welcome to Country Music Social Media Sessions and I have Alex and Joe from Walk Don't Run. I'm very excited to finally speak to you. How are you guys? Yeah, we're good, thanks. Yeah. We're just in the middle of a rehearsal just now, so stop, came out of the studio, a rehearsal studio, to catch up with you. And I very much appreciate it. So you're rehearsing, have you got a tour coming up or are you just um, doing your, your gigs or...? Well, it's our holiday period coming up just now. So one of the guys, he's away on a cruise nice. and uh, Tori goes off on holiday tomorrow. So we're just working on some new songs for our set list and a new song for a new single that we're going to record in a, probably about six or eight weeks' time. So oh, yeah. we have a new single coming. Brilliant. Well, yeah. so tell us a bit more about the single because we'll make sure we get airplay for you, obviously, when it comes out. Okay, well, singles... Uh, if you can imagine a sort of driving song in the, across the desert uh, and he's heading home to Texas and it's got that sort of Mexican feel. Lead guitarist, he's working on that sort of Mexican sound uh, and it's a good song. And we're going to bring a female in to do some of the harmonies on the chorus. Okay. So a real, fe a real female as opposed to... Uh, <coughs> A digital female that we've used before, so yeah. uh, so I'm quite excited about that. So it's called Texas Long Road, is the name of the the, the track, and we're about. I've got the guys sitting all round about me here, so about three quarters way, we would say there instrumentals and just the sort of harmonies to come in. So yeah, we're quite excited about it. It's uh, yeah, I'm toying with the idea of maybe singing one of the choruses in Spanish. Wow. <laughs> to give to give it that. So I've been on and uh, we've done the the trans from English to Spanish. So we're having I'm having to think about that, but I find it quite difficult to to fit some of the words in. But uh, it, it might happen and it might not. But it, it would make it certainly an interesting song if we could do one of the choruses in, in Spanish. So yeah, it, it sounds good. It should be it's definitely WDR. It has that. I'm actually going to this later this year as well. So, uh, um, we've got some radio stations out there. So, uh, I'll see if we wait. Yeah, it'd be good to get some. Yeah, some... yeah that'd be great. That'd be yeah. super. So, this is going to, be, going to be completely different to anything we've done before. Okay. So nice to mix it up a bit. Okay. And is it going to be part of a new album? Or are you actually thinking just single at the moment and see what happens in the new year? Yeah, I think a single now and then possibly back that up with another single maybe later on in the year and then we can jig about because that would be eight songs I think that are on social media just now uh, with two uh, professional videos. We've done some ourselves you know, at, at home and things like that but we've two which is The Bridge which yeah. is a really good video and uh, the new one, which is Saturday Night in Nashville, which is a great video. It just encompasses the song exactly. And have you been to Nashville before, have you? I haven't, no. I'm hoping to do that next year. No, well, that's right. a good one for me as well, isn't it, the Nashville one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it, it's a super video. And it just, the guy who's, who's made it for us has just captured the whole Nashville Saturday Night thing, which fits the song. It's really good. It's a good video. Oh, fantastic. So um, you've been with us for a while now at Country Music Social Media, and I know you talk to Ken a lot. Uh, he's a, um, you've been very popular on radio. How are you finding working with Ken and Country Music Social Media? We've, we're getting lots of airplay, uh, lots of exposure. We're not quite certain how we're going to follow that up, though. Um, we've started to get a few people in Scotland play our music because most of the stations are down south. So yeah. it's up to us as a band to decide where we go next. Yes, that's right. You get so we got we've got quite a few um, stations coming on board now from from Scotland. I think Ken's got a date. Oh, brilliant! Yeah, so um, he works tirelessly overnight to try and get the stations um, to to play our artists, and uh, we've got quite a few on board now. So we are getting there. Um, he's hopefully going to be doing some shows up in Scotland again because I know they did one yeah. a couple of months ago. So it'd be good to have you. Right. Um, but yes, so we've been, you've been very popular so far, so you're getting great feedback from radio, which is fantastic. And uh, that's great. It's, isn't it? it's always nice to get good feedback and see where your music's being played. Yeah. I know Ken keeps in touch with you a lot on what's happening and what's going on and all that. So yeah. uh, 
Yeah. Now you're a charity band as well, aren't you? So um, do you support one particular charity or do you just sort of uh, think, well, we'll do this one today and then try and support smaller charities? Do you have a process with that? Uh, yes. What we normally do is we do a lot of local charities throughout the year, probably about half a dozen. Okay. Maybe eight, half a dozen to eight a year. But there are two in particular that we do. One is the hospice, the okay. Strathcarn Hospice, which we do every year. So we usually pick a big gig for that because we'll raise more money at that. But also the profits from the, the album Burning Daylight, or EP, sorry, all the profits from that go to Strathcarn. So uh, that, that's what we, we do with that. But it's normally people will approach us sometime and say, can you come and do a gig for Marie Curie, uh, one of the big ones, British Heart Foundation, so, stuff like that. So and if, if it fits in for us, that's what we normally do. Because we don't see a lot of the money. The money is raised by us being there. Mm -hmm. yeah. They just usually uh, pass that information to Alec Toddy here, and he, he does what he has to do and lets us know how much we've been raised and things like that. So that, that's the way we do it. And then we support a lot of the smaller groups during the day who have uh, afternoon sessions for infirm and elderly people, says he who's an old man. But uh, uh, yeah, so we do that a lot as well. And that's, we're very popular mm -hmm. at that. They like us and we sing because we're an old, I don't mean we're old in the sense that of our age, which we are, of course, but also the music that we play is very old country. And that people can relate to the older stuff. I know mean, we do some new stuff yes, as well, but uh, yeah, that, that, that's where we're because you have sticking to the kind of traditional country sound, but bringing your own element into it. And I think it's probably yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. Yes. we had a great yeah, we had a great compliment played by one of the DJs during the week. There, I, I think it was from the track Whiskey Eyes, which is on our EP. Yeah, and she said uh, that we're very Doctor Hookish. Oh, that's amazing. That's quite a compliment. Yeah, yeah, which was, we were really, really chuffed. In fact, we've just been rehearsing a Dr. Hook number this morning, an old Dr. Hook number this morning. But we were going to do that before that sort of comment came. So we thought, oh, there's a message there somewhere. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the boys were really pleased. Uh, we're going to order a whole load of eye patches there, <laughs> so it can look like Dr. <laughs> It's really authentic there, everybody. You know, it's fantastic. Yeah. If you're watching this, then please do go and download Walk Don't Run. Um, you find your normal channels, Spotify, iTunes, um, and support charities in the world, can't they? So people can buy your stuff, get some good music, and support and donate to a charity, a very worthwhile charity as well. And uh, the fact that you do that is quite commendable as well, because it's uh, we all know how much hard work goes into making music and, and touring and that kind of thing. So to do it yeah. is amazing. So uh, do you do a mix of like originals and covers when you do your gigs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We usually open traditionally. We open with a, one of our own songs, which is a good. It's it's not a slow song. It's a really, and it's a good warm up for the boys as well. Yeah. So uh, it's so that's pretty good. Yeah, usually we have about four or five of our own songs uh, during a two or a three hour show or something like that. So, so yeah. yeah, that's good. Yeah, so it's nice to test the water with your original music, isn't it? So yeah, it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you just drop them. CDs and merchandise as well. Do you sell those at gigs? To try yeah, and... yeah. So you can buy. You we don't, we, we, a lot of people don't buy CDs now. So, but I think on our last one, the the last one, which is Burning Daylight, I think we've sold eighty, a hundred. Yeah, we yeah. we got a small amount printed, um, but we've we've shifted most of them. Yeah, and the profits from that, of course, will go to uh, sure. Shaskan yeah. once we once we're finished. And uh, so yeah, we 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 say we have key rings and so that sort of stuff. I, I think the most sales of our merchandise have actually gone to the band um, <laughs> around about Christmas time. Yeah, so there's a lot of Christmas presents from the band. And key rings for Christmas. Absolutely. So before I let you go, enjoy your uh, rehearsal and get on with your summer. So tell us a bit more about the band. Who's who? How many of you are they? And how long you've been doing it? Well, well, should we shuffle through? Or is that daft? No, it's fine. You do. It's your interview. <laughs> no, they're, they're all going, no, no, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't want to be on camera. Hi, anyway, guys. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Okay, well. Hello. They're, hello. They're all shouting hello there. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's, there's, there's a team of seven. Okay. Here. Uh, we'll, we'll start on my right-hand side here as a drummer. That's the skipper. Hello. Hi, hello. 
<laughs> so that that's Stuart. Hello, he's coming in. Hello. Yeah. There we go. Oh, I see, I see how Hello. Hi. I help you know. <laughs> uh, Toddy, you know. Yep. Sitting next to Toddy is uh, Drew, our keyboard player and right, vocalist. Oh, I can't, can't get up my room. Hello. <laughs> next, next so, we've got Big John, lead hello. guitarist. Hi, nice to meet you. And over there in the corner, that's Eddie Travolta. Hello. Eddie Travolta. Fabulous. And one of the boys is not here, uh, Alan. He's he's away his cruise at the awesome. moment. Uh, very nice. Yeah, he's on it. Absolutely nice. How have you been going? We're hoping he gets us a gig there. <laughs> yes, you should, you should try to do some promotion while you're out there. Um, so, yeah. How long has the band been together now? Since, well, Eddie claims to have been with us since 1921. <laughs> 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 Oh, the Drew's big romantic Drew's telling us it was 2019, um, just before COVID hit us. Yes. Yeah. Which, yeah, which was really difficult. Yeah, it was difficult for us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, it was difficult for everybody. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, well, so, yeah. but it was quite good because it was a great summer. So when, once the COVID restrictions were lifted, we could actually get to the back of the house. Yes. So we, we were rehearsing and, uh, and the neighbours loved it. <laughs> because everyone had been closed up for so long yeah, of course, yeah. still there was some restrictions they could get out their gardens but they could hear us rehearsing down in our garden so it was good mm -hmm. yeah, it was good yeah. Yeah. it does some people so, were just dying to get entertainment back weren't they everyone was getting some, yeah it was nice at first to relax and have some peace but then it got boring quite quickly when people just wanted to you think people missed yeah. it personally. and I think having it we, we were doing live streams and all sorts just to try and keep ourselves yeah. uh, but it's been lovely to talk to you guys today I'll let you get back on with your rehearsal anyone who's listening okay. please go and check out What Don't Run go onto their website go into the download it all goes to fantastic causes and uh, I wish you all a fantastic summer and please let me know when the single's out and we'll make sure that gets a lot of airplay for you that's great. Lovely. Thanks, this. Thanks, Helena. Thanks. Bye. 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 Bye from Scotland. Bye. Keep it country. Bye. <laughs> By windows, they lay open. I hear the music in the street. Are people all crowding round and folks tapping their feet? And pretty ladies wear a check shirts and cowboy boots. And cut off old Levi's Looking like Daisy Duke Yeah, that's alright That's okay That's okay It's another party in Nashville On a Saturday There's music And laughter The smell of whiskey in the air It's another party in Nashville And we wish we were there Young strummers and old pickers on that hardwood stage they play. Some have seen some glory, but some are waiting to have their day. But they're still dreaming, being under those neon lights at another party in Nashville on a Saturday night. Well, there's bachelorettes and a college boys partying all night long. Farm boys in their John Deere hats know the words to every country song. Cowgirls are from Texas who want to dance in lines. And they're all here in Nashville to have a real good time. Yeah, that's all right. That's okay. That's okay. It's another party in Nashville on a Saturday. There's music and laughter, the smell of whiskey in the air. It's another party in Nashville, and we wish we were there. On 
on the corner of Broadway and down Fifth Avenue. A folks all waiting impatiently and a honk is on my cue. They hoping to see a celebrity or some up and coming star. But us a redneck boys from the back who just wanna get to the bar. Yeah, that's all right. That's okay. That's okay. It's another party in Nashville on a Saturday. There's music and laughter, the smell of whiskey in the air. It's another party in Nashville, and we wish we were there. It's another party in Nashville, and we wish we were there. It's another party in Nashville, and we wish we were there.